Let's go up, DR1, take three. More power, by the way. So more power, oppa, oppa, oppa. You know, when you have more power, you kind of, uh, ah, okay, so I don't need too much power to get a bo airborne. And then you take off at like less than 50% throttle, which is stupid. So, six guys. Well, more power on this battery. Uh, the milliamps really make it. Uh, there's a plane that's flying around the field today all morning alongside paragliders, which is kind of so super bombing because I would have gone up to the air to try to film it. Uh, I believe I can get to its altitude and uh, and match its airspeed. Uh, but my KFM wings, for those who are following my diary, might realize or might know that it went MIA, uh, never to be seen again uh, outside of Israel. Uh, I was actually flying it in the Palestinian Authority. Uh, so, no more uh, KFM wings, no more Cyclops, no more onboard cameras for the time, uh, footage for the time being, which is kind of a bummer. Because uh, one of the things that I really enjoyed lately is taking some air to air footage and some air to ground footage from the KFM wing, which I actually thought would be my first FPV uh, setup. That's, that's how I've been practicing flying FPV in my perspective, uh, because of the stability of the airframe. Uh, but it's lost right now, so unless I rebuild it, which is something I probably will do, uh, I'm just really bummed out of all the electronics that I lost. So. I don't have too much electronics anymore. Most of my electronics, my motors are, are broken or working poorly, like they have uh, issues spinning and I gotta start them to get them to spin. So I really need new electronics, uh, but financially I just can't do it right now. So. Oh well, sometimes you know there's other stuff that are more important financially, like keeping the family alive than buying some more RC planes. Uh, so I have a, I have a list of uh, new motors that I need to get, some new ESC servos for sure. I don't have any more uh, 5 gram servos anymore, which kind of makes it hard to build any mini. Yeah, of course, you can fill it with the 9 grams and it will work just fine. Uh, but some models, for example, if you just take a moment, the model that I was flying a while ago, My planes broke and I found the two 5 gram servos. That's how I had the mini Mustang to fly, otherwise, it was just horrible. So, I need some more 5 gram servos just because I don't have any more. And um, in some airframes, going with the 9 grams, even though it's possible, it's just not, not worth it. Uh, the tiny trainer, by the way, for example, is a plane where the 9 gram servos get fit okay and you still have room for an ESC, the receiver and everything without having to break a break a back, break a bone over it.
next up will be the Edge 540, which I haven't taken out in a while. And I'm actually quite afraid to fly it. Uh, lately, I've been using all my uh, bigger batteries. Train uh, ground takeoffs and landings with the simple scouts. I think that yesterday when my wife was here and I have some footage of that, uh, I was able to do a few touch and go. So I think I pretty much covered that. Uh, I feel a lot more comfortable right now. I feel a lot more comfortable flying, uh, doing takeoffs and landings at the moment. I just saw somebody that I'm not used to seeing here at the field. Somebody that's actually going into the field must be one of the farmer's workers. You know, you never know, so just watch out for a sec. Just make sure to see who's coming, who's around you. I don't want to hit anybody with an RC plane. It wouldn't be fun for, for him, for me, for anybody of us. I was trying to do it and you guys probably couldn't realize it you know, as I was trying to land on the, the roof of the car. Um, I've done that actually once with the mini scout, with the simple scout. I nearly, nearly, uh, nearly landed on the top of the roof. On the roof of the car, but I didn't have the I kind of failed off. And here I just realized that I was coming so slow and the wind was pushing me harder than I imagined that I could just literally come super slow and then just kill the motor and just, you know, kind of time to land on the roof. 